Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you a really quick tip. I made this really great, pretty easy card. It's using the Mondo Magnolia from Ellen Hudson's new release. And I stamped it and then I cut out. Do you see how it's kind of inlaid in there? And I'm sure there are ways that you creative ladies and men could figure out how to do this. But I found it really super easy to do this with my Misty. So I'm going to show you real quick how to do that. some pattern paper by Bow Bunny. It's Madeline and I've just cut it to four by five and a quarter. I'm going to set that aside and then I have this all set up and ready on my Misty. I just have my card base right here and I'm going to add my flower here the way I want it stamped. I'm going to ink it with my favorite things. It's a hybrid ink pad in black. I think it's black licorice. One of the things that I absolutely am loving about my Misty is that I can stamp it several times. So when you do it the first time, if that black isn't black enough, you can just stamp it again. Now when this card is put together, my layer is going to go on top like this. So I don't want this designer paper all the way in the corner there because then the, uh, the layering would be thrown off a little bit. So we'll just move it to about an eighth of an inch in from the bottom and the side and then we'll be able to stamp this flower in the same exact place that it went onto the card base. Now I'm grabbing my big shot and my die. I'm going to line the die up and we'll run this through the big shot. I've added a bunch of 3M mounting tape to my patterned paper cutout and I'm going to add it straight on top of the stamped image on the card base. And that matches up perfectly. <laughs> and then it's just a few finishing touches for the rest of the card. I have taken the beautiful or beautiful die cut from the Ellen Hudson release and cut it out from the craft board. If you're on YouTube, be sure to head over to my blog so you can see the links for all these products. But I use the craft board. It's a little uh, thicker. Well, not a little. It's thicker than, than paper, so it's kind of like cardboard. And it's great to die cut things out of to give a little more dimension to your die cuts. We'll just add that on there. And then a few sequins, I believe. I added a few sequins. One kind of tucked under that E on the beautiful and a couple scattered around. I love this giant gold sequin right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick card and are inspired. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you again really soon. Have a great day.